Boating is one of the best ways to de-stress and enjoy life, at least in my opinion. Being out there on the water, cruising around, enjoying Mother Nature is a feeling everyone should experience. But unfortunately, in 2023, most of us have been priced out of the brand new boat market since the prices have exploded to new levels. What's going on guys, it's Life Offshore and today we'll be talking about some of the reasons that the boat market has gotten so expensive. If you like boating, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. As we all know, after the pandemic, prices for everything just got so expensive. Not only in the marine industry, but pretty much all industries across the board. But when it comes down to the boat industry, there's a couple factors that has made it super expensive. But one of the most glaring but not so obvious reasons is that manufacturers aren't incentivized to make smaller boats. Let me explain. For example, since it costs about the same to make a 21 foot center console as it does to make a 30 foot version, when we talk about the cost for materials of the haul, and this is not me taking into consideration what it costs these manufacturers to make molds. I'm just talking about the labor and the materials to construct the hull. Obviously, the 30-footer requires a bit more in material cost, but it's not as much as you may expect. The difference it costs is not a lot, but the difference in selling price is a whole lot more, as they can sell a bigger boat for a heftier price, and it's more justified. Now, a 30-footer probably needs two engines instead of one, maybe a little more than double the electronics than a 21-footer. I'm generalizing here, but it's to make it easier to understand what I mean. So that adds to the cost of how much it costs these manufacturers to build out each boat. But the difference is when it comes time to sell those boats, they're vastly different in price. I'm not using exact numbers because each company has different prices, but you can get a 21-foot boat brand new for around 60 to 70k with base specs before you guys go and say in the comments that those prices are wrong you're correct because just like you can buy a 21 footer for 40k you can also buy one for 100k and probably even more so i'm just using ballpark pricing here but a 30 footer can sell all the way up to 400k so the margins on a 30 foot boat are way more attractive to manufacturers, so they kind of have neglected the smaller and more affordable boat market for this reason. It's not worth their time to make smaller boats with a lot smaller profit margins than the bigger boats. At the end of the day, it's a business and they have to go to where the money is. They can either make and sell four or five 21 footers, or make and sell one 30 footer and make the same amount of profit and this goes all the way up the chain. So the same reason Valhalla would probably rather sell a 55 foot center console than their 33 foot center console, it boils down to the profit margins. The second reason, which goes hand in hand with the first reason of why prices have skyrocketed, is because these bank loans are being extended so long that the monthly payments aren't very high. So for example, a $150,000 boat with a 15 year loan at around a 6% interest. I know they're a little high right now, but let's just use 6% as a base and a down payment of around 25K, which is a bit more than 15% of the boat's value. It turns out to be around $1,000 a month. So you can see that the longer you extend these boat loans, the more people can buy more expensive boats and the more that incentivizes manufacturers to produce more expensive boats and neglect the more affordable boats. So until banks stop giving out such long and ridiculous loans, the boat market will continue to be extremely expensive. Some other reasons the prices have gone insane is because of material costs, electronic costs, engine costs. I remember about a year ago, one of the leaders in the outboard space kept sending out emails to dealers and manufacturers that they will be increasing their prices. And this was happening on a quarterly basis. And as all those prices go up, obviously it will directly impact the ending sticker prices on boats. For people that believe there should be more affordable boats, I agree with them. There should be. I'll encourage them to open a business and start manufacturing boats that are more affordable. But what I do think is they'll be surprised with how hard it is to crack a profit with a boat company that's trying to make affordable boats. So it does bother me a bit when people say that boats are overpriced. I mean, it costs a lot to make them with all the business expenses taken into consideration. At the end of the day, boats are a luxury and luxuries aren't cheap, but that about wraps it up for this video, guys. But until next time, you can catch me offshore.